Lakers down the street, down the street from us. They really are just a walk away. The dumpster fire has been a walk away. That has been the narrative, and they have earned it. We've seen the smoke. They earned it the way that everything went down after LeBron's groin gave way on Christmas Day. By the way, worst holiday album ever. Um, When LeBron's groin gave way on Christmas Day, it rhymes. It's a nice little jingle. It's fact. They were beaten up on the Warriors that day. His, uh, His groin gave way, and then the whole season went downhill. He missed a month. And that's when the request to get traded away from New Orleans was made public. Some finger pointing in that regard. Rich Paul, the agent of LeBron and Anthony Davis, pointed a finger at the now former general manager, Del Demps, in New Orleans. Del Demps, not saying much, but everyone would believe it. It was him from Magic Johnson. Everybody thought it was him. And then the rest of the locker room heard... It was on them to try and do well after finding out that they were going to be traded. Every every last one of them for Anthony Davis. Didn't work out. Then comes the end of the year when Magic Johnson surprises everybody in saying that he's out. And we all know what happened with Luke Walton gone. Then they hire a new coach after three other guys seemingly turn it down. and Total dumpster fire. How's this thing going to be put back together? Oh, yeah, and Rob Palenka is called out to be a liar on first take by Magic Johnson. Then there's that story t- talking about how Kobe Bryant wanted to be hooked up with Heath Ledger because <laughs> he saw Batman and Heath Ledger was dead at the time. Unavailable, sorry. He was unav- That's the words here in Los Angeles, unavailable. All that. Gone now, as far as I'm concerned. History. History. Because... The Lakers are acquiring Anthony Davis. And not only are they acquiring Anthony Davis, they don't have to give up Kyle Kuzma, who I think is their most talented player out of the whole core of young players that they earned the right to draft because they have stunk it up. Yes, Brandon Ingram's talented. Yes, Lonzo Ball was great. You know, Lonzo Ball was terrific in UCLA and had bursts of potential shown when he was healthy enough. Josh Hart, love the kid. He could shoot. He's really a good kid, too, if you ever met him. But see ya. And thanks for the memories. In all due respect and honesty. And I don't want to hear about draft choices any either. I don't care. Giving up the fourth overall selection this year, guess what? You lucked out in the lottery that day. Yeah. Congrats. Your fourth overall pick in the draft. Good for you. Enjoy. You used it, and you used it for Anthony Davis. You're hooking up Anthony Davis with LeBron James. Anthony Davis wanted to be here. So much for that article or back in December about nobody wants to play with LeBron James, situation's toxic. You could say, well, Rich Paul and Clutch Sports made it happen. Anthony Davis had to be willing to do it. And Anthony Davis wanted to come here. And not only is Anthony Davis wanted to come here, you get him here before July 1st? Come on. You get him here before the draft, so you can obviously use that fourth overall selection. And then there's a question of how you can use it. But we don't need to get too deep in the weeds. I just want to do a headline writ large here. And that is Anthony Davis and LeBron James are going to team up. And if you are the Lakers and you have LeBron James, which they do, and you have him for two more years plus one, that's the rest of his contract. He's got three years here. You need to win now. And LeBron James, to paraphrase the Blazing Saddles line, he don't need no stinking rookies. Rookies? Really? Kids fresh out of college where you got to coach them up, teach them up, break them in. You don't have time for that. You got to win now. And not only now, you got to win while the Warriors are banged up. We have no idea. Brian Windhorst, who's first up in about 10 minutes' time, he went on first take last week, and he said he thinks that the the Warriors are going to max out both Durant and Klay Thompson, which would push with their luxury tax, and you put it all together, would push their salary for next year over $350 million. And guess what? They can afford it because that new arena that Will Bond told us about a month ago is going to be a money-printing machine. And if they're willing to spend it, 
That shows you the commitment. That's why I was saying when it all comes down on July 1st, everybody who thinks Durant's walking through their door, Durant's going to hear from the Warriors. They're not going to just sit back and lie down, let this whole thing happen. So if you're the Lakers right now and you know that the Warriors are the best team and you know that they've got two guys that are either going to re-sign, banged up, and not play or not sign at all, and this is your time, and LeBron's time is now anyway. His clock's ticking. Who cares about first-round selections? Send them all out. And the way that they can play this, they can still bring in another max player. Now, whether they're able to max him out completely or said player will have to take a little less to sign here in Los Angeles, that is, again, getting into the weeds as to when this trade will be made official. There are certain cap rules where if the Lakers push it to the end of July, they are able to max out a player. Would said player be willing to wait till the Lakers can actually max out to the end of July? And whichever team is going to take the fourth overall selection from the Lakers, whether it is New Orleans or New Orleans will flip that for a fourth overall selection to new team for a veteran for them. That is team that's using the player selected fourth overall is going to want that player in summer league action which is July 5th through the 15th and the most advantageous date for the Lakers to sign somebody max is later than that so there's a lot of maneuvering that still needs to be made to make sure that this trade is maxed out for the Lakers but right now right now Anthony Davis with LeBron James and Kyle Kuzma, plus whoever is still around right there, plus whoever might be willing to come. Word is that the Lakers are interested in Kemba Walker, who, because he, instead of Clay, got put on the all-NBA list where he was, he gets to be maxed out in Charlotte. Again, the super max. Max plus plus. So there's lots to still be worked out here. But for the Lakers to be accused of having a dumpster fire, five-alarm dumpster fire, and nobody wants to play with LeBron, and if they crap out on July 1st, then LeBron's even thinking of moving, and who's going to come play with LeBron, and what else can the Lakers do? That's done. I don't care what Palinka said. That's what I said on Friday. I don't care what Palinka said about Heath Ledger. I don't care what Magic has to say about Palenka, although he tweeted it, Rob. Nice trade, great trade. He's probably sitting there thinking, these are the same guys I wanted to ship out in yeah, February. Right. But this is what happens when you could just take a beat, take a breath. Nobody's talking about it every single day. You got a new guy in David Griffin coming in. Everybody understands that Davis wants out. Dell Demps probably felt like it was foisted upon him in the middle of the season. I don't know. Whatever it is, it's over and done with. The Lakers have Anthony Davis for LeBron James. For more of the Rich Eisen Show, tune to Audience Channel 239 on DirecTV for free on BR Live or download the Rich Eisen Show app.